What is up everybody? It's your boy Brian with another video here on the American Auto YouTube channel. Now, I kind of got my wires mixed up in between the Challenger video and the Trailblazer SS and the small block Chevy video. So now we're doing a reset. We're back on the Challenger trim. So that being said, let me show you what we're doing. moment is I don't know if you remember but this is the headlight buckets for the Challenger and they're all nice and pretty now and I I, I don't know anyway I, I, I should have videoed this but I, for some reason my mind got lost but if you remember all this was blacked out all the way up and squared in here and they was using the, some kind of glitter texture paint stuff on it anyway so I soda blasted that with the uh, bead blaster or the uh, spot blaster from Harbor Freight. And actually I got both of them. There's the second one. So there they are, nice and complete. And I've already scotch brighted them. So this one here you can see, see that square in there? They had this one done a little bit different. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, the same texture though that they put on this one is the same texture that's on the grill over there. I'll have to show you that here in a minute. But uh, we've got this already scotch brighted, so we're gonna go ahead and spray it down with this metal prep, this stuff here. And uh, I'll actually let this set a minute before I re-wipe it down and all that stuff. <laughs> and guys, this stuff here, it's crazy. It smells like bath, public bathroom cleaner or something, I don't know. But it works really good. And I have a bunch of it. But we're, uh, we're getting this sprayed down here and getting it ready for primer. And there we go. Let that sit. And the reason being is because I did soda blast it. So. You want to do everything you can. Now, I've already did it with the acetone too. Wipe the whole thing down with acetone. But make sure if you're uh, soda blasting anything, you have something to put over your clothes, one. And two, I don't know if you can see it on my face. It's Baking soda is not corrosive to you. It's not gonna hurt you, okay? But it tastes like crap. It's real salty, yeah. It's nasty. Anyhow, so we're gonna take this jacket here off. And yep, you can see I got my super clean shirt on today. Guys, head over and check out some super clean too while you're at it. Super clean unfortunately wouldn't have touched this, but it works for so many other things. Now, um, we're gonna get us a paper towel and go ahead and wipe these headlight buckets off, get them primed. But we've already got the uh, other trim that I showed in the last video, the little short video. We've already got it wrapped up in bubble wrap. There was a change of plans on that. We didn't wind up taking it to the car because Turtles isn't quite ready for the car yet. So now we're, the car's gonna come back here after wrap. So, and then I'll just put the trim in the car and get it ready to take it to Turtles. So whenever they call whenever they get the glass in, which will be after Christmas sometime. I don't know. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a very Merry Christmas. I know we are for the most part. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get this stuff wiped down. And, yeah, I'll bring you back here in just All a second. Right, so back to what I was saying, we're ready to spray these down with the primer. And on this, I want to use the Rust Preventative uh, prim Sandable Primer Spray. But this is from Tractor Supply, guys. And the reason I use this is not because it's cheap, because it's not really cheap. I mean, per can, it's got a good, fairly decent price to it. It's cheaper than the uh, high build stuff that I bought from uh, the paint supply store, but it works just as good. I'm finding that out. And it don't clog up your paper and all that stuff, one. Two. I can already tell you that the black lays down really good on top of it and gives a nice, beautiful finish on top of this 
uh, primer. Number three is tractor paint. So therefore, what I have seen is it's a lot more durable than just some off the shelf uh, other cheap stuff. Get back, Ruger. My dog wants to come on camera now. Now all of a sudden, everybody in my family is trying to get on the camera like I'm famous. I know I'm not famous. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's what I am. I'm an idiot that has a beautiful little girl who likes to do this. She runs around the house now with her own camera saying, what's up guys? <laughs> it's American Autos. This, we're gonna let this coat dry and come back and see what we gotta do from there, like fix that spot and then, yeah. I'll do everything I can with these. That probably ain't gonna be perfect, but we're gonna do our best to make it that way. So. We'll bring you back in just a minute. So now we got this thing. And we got to do something with it. Meaning. This square waffle pattern that's inside here. The owner hates it. I hate it. I think it's stupid looking. So. I need to come up with some sort of a design. Like just a straight cut pattern or something like that to put inside this plastic, which means I gotta be able to take all this out or something. So I gotta look into that. All right, so I came up with a game plan here for the moment. Now, like I said, the biggest thing is getting this honeycomb out of here. Well, if you look real close, I'll try and bring it and show it to you. But right here, is a stopper that holds that in and right there all the way around now i'm not going to take the whole entire thing off but if i take the tops off and one of these sides then that honeycomb should be able to come out all right everybody we're back it's another day cold in the shop but not that cold outside so i got the heat trying to knock the chill off uh we've got all those parts primed and ready showed y'all that um working on the grill now i've put everything on hold because the car is done at wrap but i don't have room for it in here because i have to get this other stuff done first we're but, working on the grill now i had two other designs that i was going to go with but I don't like them and I'll put the inserts in right about here. And now we've come back with a different option. All right. You see how these sides step in right here? Well, I think we're going to take this idea and continue it all the way to the middle and then so it'll step in right here and then all the way to the middle and then step in right here all the way to the middle so and i'm going to be using bar stock to do that okay and we'll get it in there and like I say we'll step it in just like just like the side here that angle there we're gonna mimic that all the way through until we get to the very center, we'll have one straight. And then opposite side, we'll go the opposite direction, stair step it in until we get to the middle and it's straight. That's what all this bar stock right here is, plus that long piece there because I didn't have enough. Now, how am I going to keep my pieces perfectly, you know, perfectly angled? Well, the answer to that is simple. Time to nerd out just a little bit. Now, if you look right here, let's see if I can get the best view on this. There's three marks on this. Now, this stock is one inch. So, if you'll take height and measure distance on here, then what you get is from here to here is one inch. From here to here is one inch. If you measure it back to the corner, that gives you a perfect 45, okay? We don't want a perfect 45. So if you measure half of that, 
which would be what this first line is. So one inch back an eighth, or I mean a half inch, gives you a 22. Well, that's not enough tilt. So we went with five eighths. So an eighth in between. Uh, actually, it's more than that. But we went an eighth further past half. So that would be five eighths. So five eighths down, and that gives us between a 22 and a 45, more like a 33, 32, 33 degree angle. But I like the 32, 33 degree angle, so we're gonna cut this on that angle and use this as our bump jig. So now we'll just be able to set it up there and lay the plate to it and then tack weld it. So we're gonna get that going and yeah, and I'll show you what it comes out like. Also, when I say welding, we're not welding a flat sheet behind this because air still has to get through that. Because that's how the radiator stays cool. So, all I'm going to do is put, get a, uh, of course I measured this out right here for my pieces, but I want a single piece, not this, but something similar, uh, just to lay right down the middle, and all this is going to lay on top of it. So it's going to be one bar, because this is the original grill out of it. We do not want this. So we're going to, we took this completely out. We're going to put a piece of flat steel down here. And yeah, once I get the first piece welded, then I'll put the next piece up against this, hold it with that, tack it, tack it, tack it, tack it, tack it, until we get the whole thing done. And then we'll work out our backwards angle that way, which is only going to help the Mako shark fin look that I'm going for. Now, you see the other pictures? I don't like the way it turned out. It looks stupid. All right, everybody, we're back. It's another day. I've been out here, been kind of busy, but I will show you what we made it to. So here's the shell of the grill for the Challenger. Now, I know they're kind of crooked. I still have to straighten them, but, but I want you to picture this. something like that, you know? Of course, a lot straighter, but something like that on the front of that Challenger, I think it'll look a whole lot better, don't you? So let's see. But let me show you where we're at so far. Now it's not completely cut to fit yet. I've got to trim off both sides just a little bit and I've got to finish filling in that gap over here. So I need like three more pieces, but Unpainted, that's just in bare metal. What do y'all think? Looks a lot better than the cheese grater. So, I think that's going to turn out really awesome. I think. So, we'll see what he has to say about it. I like it because if you're right in front of it, you can't see the braces that are holding it. And if you look from side to side, it stair steps in on both sides, and those actually stair step the same way all the way to the center. And then that's the same on this side, the stair steps in, and then back to the center. And then in that center is one perfectly straight one. <sighs> I don't know, I think it looks good. I think it's gonna be even cooler when it's done. Just saying. All right guys, I'll bring y'all back just All right, everybody, here we are. It's a couple days later. Uh, Christmas was yesterday. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. Uh, I know we certainly did. Uh, with all parts of the family, it was great. Absolutely great. So, before I quit working on this the other night, I did leave and go get more bar stock right here. And that's all that's left out of a three-foot piece, okay? Yeah, because I've been busy. I was busy on this and I got it done. I got it done, done. Yep. Squat down here. Yep. There she is in all her glory. Now we just need to paint it. Of course, I'm sitting kind of offside, so it looks like there's a gap over there. There is a slight gap, but it's the same on that side too. I know it kind of looks like a cougar. I know that. But once this is on this car, you're not gonna notice that. 
it, it you're not even gonna notice the look of it as far as looking like a cougar because this is completely different cougars are perfectly straight this is not not at all and i know they're all correct because i made a tool to be able to make sure those were exactly perfect all the way across so we're gonna get the downfall is is they're all the exact same length and that grill is not it kind of it, it it gets smaller on the ends okay so since it gets smaller on the ends i've got to do a little bit of shaving gotta shave the bottom up there bring the top of that down and top down bottom up and then make it match in the middle the middle is perfect the outsides are not so we're going to fix that <clears throat> today and then clean it and get it ready for primer and then get ready for paint so let's get after it all right so here we are it is installed i had to build new brackets to hold it in there because that grill is actually a quarter inch uh deeper than the one that came out of it but there it is so now we got to do is prime that metal prep it prime it do all that fun stuff and then get it ready for paint so we're gonna get started on all that guys uh i'm gonna go in and eat some lunch real quick and then i'll be right back out here on it to get it finished up so hang tight all right everybody we're back it's another day and due to some unforeseen circumstances this video is taking forever to get done because we've had you know family sickness and uh child care issues and all that that's that's none of y'all's concern uh but here we are back on it it's another day now i've got everything primed and i'll show you i've got all the trim primed and ready to go okay for the most part in the process of priming the trim i realized these headlight buckets needed more work uh they had some divots in them stuff like that some cracks uh this corner tail, uh, tail light corner had a couple spots in it so we're gonna fix that um that headlight bucket has some issues so we got still some more stuff to do but we're trying to build this up to where it looks really good on the car uh, because again whether you believe it or not we don't want to have halfway anything and i mean these headlight buckets i had to buy used because you can't get new new stock replacement for this kind of stuff so you gotta work with what you got now that being said that's what we're doing we're working with what we got so i bought these off of ebay or as vice versa calls it evil bait and we're gonna fix the little bad spots in it and then paint them. Cause guys, the, the window trim, the, path, the front and rear glass window trim turned out amazing. So we just wanna make sure we can make this turn out the same way. And with it being aluminum, very thin aluminum, like aluminum can aluminum, there ain't a whole lot of that you can do to it. So, we are gonna do our best. And our best has to be perfect. So, I'm gonna get this stuff sanded down and I'll bring you guys back before we spray it with primer. All right, everybody. This video has taken entirely too long to make, but we're finally at the end of this one. Uh, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. That's part of what added time to make this one. and. You know, family members getting sick and all that. But let me show you where we're it at. It is official. We finally got all the trim except for the body kit. And I'm doing the body kit a little bit as I go because I want to make sure none of the crease lines show up. But outside of that, we've got everything painted in the satin black. Okay. Everything was done in satin black okay so there's all that this is that bar that goes across the front of the hood 
This is the bar that goes across the trunk. And this comes out like this on the back of it and goes around this. So if that makes sense now. And the dented up headlight corners. You can see how much better those look now. We've body worked those as best I could anyway. I'm not a professional body man by any means. Uh, here's the window trims. So everything satin out pretty good. So yeah. Anyhow, so that takes care of that. That's it. actually on the window trims. This is the part that goes down to the door and over the top of the glass. And that is the part that goes around to the back of the window and stops at the A post, I think. <laughs> I don't really know. This is for the center tail light, right side, left side, both headlights. And this is the rear, uh, rear corner, uh, rear goes with the body kit and then the headlight buckets under there is oh let me show you the back glasses the quarter glasses we got those done too inside and out see and guys in case you didn't catch it on the short I'll put that back under there and make sure i don't fall. those glasses are twenty five hundred dollars a piece so we don't want to drop those but in case y'all didn't catch it in the short, I use high-tech paints, and this is what I used. Uh, we went with the 1401 Hot Rod Black, the uh, 1020 uh, Urethane Catalyst, and the Universal uh, Medium Reducer. All this from high-tech, okay? So, that's the products I use to paint all this stuff. And you see what kind of finish it has. Um, I think it turned out absolutely awesome. It looks beautiful. And yeah, we're gonna put it on the car just as soon as the car gets back. And that's, yeah, that's the only thing I've got in here that's mobile right now is the four wheeler. And I'm out of my toolbox on it. Anyway, so that's gonna do it for this one, guys. That takes care of all the trim being painted. Uh, in the next video you'll see will be us installing that trim back onto the car, putting the taillights together and all that jazz, which will be, yeah, it'll be in a week. So this video comes out on Sunday. Yeah, this video comes out on Sunday and we're going to wait till the next uh, sunny day for him to bring that car back. And we got to see what's happened to it because he is not happy with that wrap. And yeah, y'all seen the amount of body work I put into that car and how straight that car was. And for some reason, I'm getting told, not by the owner, but by someone else, I'm getting told that the wrap don't look good because my body works bad. So we're going to see what that looks like when it comes back. And yeah, we'll be the judge of it when it gets here. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to diss on anybody for that it is what it is we'll fix it we'll do the best we can to fix it <clears throat> but that's gonna do it for this one guys i want to give a special shout out to carter's pa Car carter's powder coating again and carter's drag racing go check them guys out on youtube show them some love uh guys we're up to 806 or 680 some subs i wish it was 860 can we get it there can y'all get me there uh we're up to six 82 i think so right around the corner from the 700 mark right around the corner from that 1000 uh new year's right around the corner guys i hope everybody has a happy new year's um but yeah give special thanks to carter's powder coating because them guys have been awesome to work with uh go check out top notch trees 23 uh show jared some love over there from me and uh Golden Ruster Bust. I haven't seen anything posted from him in a while. He must be busy. I know he's got his new life going on, getting married and all that jazz. 
So go show them some love. But guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will catch you guys next time. Remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it don't change you. Thanks, guys.